This is my country. It would be a terrible mistake to go against me. Dame Helen Mirren, it is such an honor and a privilege to meet you, and I'm so grateful that you're taking the time to, to answer these questions for Thank me. Thank you. Um, my first question is, where does your passion come from? You take on such challenging roles in theater and television and film. Where does it come from? I don't know where that comes from, honestly. It's like artists, uh, any artist. And when I started off in, in the theater, I started off in theater, although one of my very first um, uh, film roles was actually in Australia when I was about 21 years old, 22 maybe I was. So, um, uh, but mostly my, my work in the early days was in the theater. And I was a very serious theatre actress, you know, I, I thought the theatre was an Im important part of our culture. Import it, it had a lot to say about the human condition. I was a very serious actress. Young girl. So, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, but I think that drive, you know, it, it, it's, it's say, how, why do people paint, why do people write? Um, you know, it, it, it's the drive of an artist, and I think I did have that, you know, very strongly as a young person. You've played four queens so far, if I'm right. Maybe what? more, but, Maybe more. <laughs> but lots of other roles as well, out of, you know, a hundred and whatever it is, yeah. What is it about a queen that you enjoy? Well, uh, queens are very often a very good role, you know. A, they have pretty good clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then also, you know, they are the centre of political power. Um, uh, very often, you think of Elizabeth I, obviously, and uh, Catherine the Great I just played. You know, these are women who were incre incredibly powerful in, in many ways. At the same time, they were women with their own, you know, um, desires and yearnings and love. And so um, they are wonderful roles. A anyone who's the center of a, of a certain attention is going to be a good role. And then there is Stallone, The Rock, Helen Mirren, <laughs> and the action side of it. What, what's it about the action side that you like? I love, I, it's just the physical thing of working on an action movie. I just love the, I love the technicality of it. Um, uh, you know, there are many, many different facets to filmmaking, and one of them is, is a very technical, artisanal side of filmmaking the camera, the sets, the designing of the sets, and now, of course, the designing of action sequences mm -hmm. and, and the stunt directors who design those action sequences, let alone the, 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 the men and women who achieve them, who mm -hmm. put them into action. You know, these are amazing, amazing artists with incredible uh, high ex expertise of, of technical ability. Also, when you see the, the, the way these, you know, we watch it and it's five seconds of mayhem on the screen and right. it's wonderful, it's visceral, it's, oh my God, that was amazing. But the, the amount of work that goes into those five, 10, 15 seconds of film is extraordinary. And I just love to be a witness of right. all of that, quite <laughs> honestly. Yeah. What's it like being godmother mother of this stunning and luxurious discovery? It's the world's first. What's it like? I, you know, I've only just, I've been on the, on the yacht now for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and I've just spent two hours in absolute wonderment and awe. It's extraordinary. It really is. You know, and, and when I was asked, I thought, oh, that'll be fun, that'll mm -hmm. be nice, you know. Um, I had no idea what I was really, yeah. even seeing the photographs and being given the information, the actual experience of of being on this ship and imagining that you can be here sitting in this space and looking at icebergs outside of the window. It's, I can't get my head around it, quite honestly. I've got to do it. It's incredible. So to find myself as the godmother of this extraordinary, one-of-a-kind, first-of-its-kind um, yacht is, is it's such an honor. I'm, I'm amazed. I'm guessing you travel so much in your line of work, but if you had some time and you were able to go on scenic eclipse, where would you like to go? I would do um, the Arctic or the An Antarctic, definitely, because those are places that you can't go in any other way. You know, you can't take a plane and fly and get off and go to a hotel. Um, and to see it in, in the context of this would be just 
quite extraordinary. And knowing that this is a very green ship, that it's the greenest ship in existence, one of, one of if not the greenest ship in existence, that when, it, when you're going into those sort of environments, you're not causing any destruction to the environment, would be also a very important element for me. I want to ask you about your fashion. You walked in the room and I was blown away. Um, but your red carpet style, it's just so effortless. Well, it's, I have a lot of help from very clever... I'm a great believer in clever people, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay. uh, people who do their job brilliantly. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, uh, and in that is the world of the stylist and, and the makeup artist. And I'm very lucky. I, I just sit there and... Uh, I do know what suits me, and right. I know how to say that's the one. Mm -hmm. I know that I want to be comfortable, um, and I know what I look good in, and I always want to be a little bit edgy, so I always encourage my stylist to push push the envelope a little bit. Um, and th and then I enjoy it, and I, right. and, and I think that's very much part of the process. It shows. Is just to enjoy it and say, you know what, this is really fun. Yeah. And how lucky am I really to be here? You know, I'm, and I do, I do count my blessings very regularly. That's so nice. Um, can you tell us anything about the filming uh, of Fast and Furious 9 with Vin Diesel? <laughs> I haven't done it yet. I'm going to England oh. to do it next week, actually. Okay. So I'm, I'm very excited about that. And I always get very nervous as well. I'm very do you? Nervous. Oh, yes. Because they've all been doing it for months. And they all know what they're doing, and I always feel like, oh, I'm the, I'm the sort of new girl coming onto set, and uh, you know, will I be good enough, kind of thing, because they're so brilliant at it. Somehow, I don't think you need to worry about that. <laughs> I hope we'll see. Yeah. Um, one last question, and you've heard this before, but if you could go back in time, what would you say to a young Helen Mirren? Uh, I would say, um, don't forget your family. Your family is the most important thing in your life. Although when you're young, you know, it's the time to separate from your family. And in that separation, although, you know, I've always stayed close to my family, don't get me wrong, but you do get into your own world sometimes a bit too much. So don't forget your family, your brothers and sisters, your uncles and aunts, your mum and your mum and dad, obviously. Um, and then um, be true to yourself. I never say follow your dream. I don't. I think that's a. I think that's a dangerous thing to say because I mm. think sometimes your dream. You know what? It's not going to happen. <laughs> right. So be realistic as well. You know, but just be sensible. Be realistic, um, but at the same time, as far as you can, be be true to yourself. I, I think that's advice.